they would just do things quickly and cheaply because people just need to see it once on the screen in a movie and just go on. Whereas you're at home uh-huh. watching stuff over and over again, people will catch it more often. So audio mistakes, that kind of thing would be a little bit more off. Whereas today, they try to make it pristine because they know people can rewatch the stuff as much as they want. Similarly with the editing, you'll see a couple times there are these jump cuts. Usually it's because some actor missed a cue or things didn't line up correctly. So they'll trim a couple of frames and have this very clear, very obvious jump cut that, again, to Jeff's point, maybe people notice, maybe they don't, but it doesn't matter because, you know, whatever. People are just going to watch this in a theater. Maybe they'll only watch it a couple times in their life. And then fast forward to now, and it has to be as perfect as possible because people could be watching it all day, every day at in their homes. All these YouTube videos where people want to nitpick every little issue with a movie nowadays. Yeah. 